Let's get straight to breaking news. A surprise plea deal from a Lauderdale County courtroom from the man facing escape charges and felony murder. Casey White has reached an agreement to plead guilty to escape. Now, because of the plea deal on those escape charges, the felony murder charge he faced for Vicki White's death is now dismissed. WAFF 48's Claudia Pepin horse is live outside of the Lauderdale County Courthouse. Claudia, this wasn't supposed to be this eventful today. This was supposed to be a run of the mill status hearing. No, Margo, it wasn't. Now, Casey White was set to appear in court today for a status hearing ahead of his trial that starts next month. But now there will be no trial. There will only be sentencing. And we heard from the district attorney just minutes ago that he has agreed to life in prison. Now, less than an hour ago, Casey White reached an agreement to plead guilty to escape in the first degree. Because of the plea deal, the felony murder charge for the death of Vicki White is now dismissed. Vicki took her life during a police chase that ended their 11 run in Indiana nearly a year ago. The two were in a relationship. The two were caught on security camera footage, leaving the Lauderdale County Jail. According to Alabama law, Casey was char charged with her murder since Vicki's death happened when the two were committing a crime. Now, Casey will be sentenced on June 8th at 1 p.m. And right now we are still ironing out the details of this plea deal. But of course, we will keep you updated as we learn more. Reporting live in Lauderdale County, Claudia Peppenhorst, 48 on your side. All right, thank you, Claudia. The escape and death of Vicki White were not the only crimes White was facing and accused of. This is video of a standoff in 2015 in Limestone County involving Casey White. Deputies say he shot at an ex-girlfriend, kidnapped two roommates, stole a car, and then tried to carjack another, and an 18-wheeler before this standoff you see right here. Two months before this, prosecutors say White killed a woman named Connie Ridgway. He wasn't charged for that crime until 2020 when he reportedly confessed in a jailhouse letter.